YouTube? Topaz Ace back for another daily review, and this one is to that Tech 9 put them on featuring Stevie Stone and Dylan Sephora. And I'm giving this one the yellow light because, quite frankly, it's not that good of a song, but yet, throughout the years, we kind of got to understand by now that you're getting a standard level of quality from Tech 9 no matter what he does, unless he starts like super experimenting and doing other stuff. But for the most part, it's not giving you very many songs that are great, but yet, none of the songs really fall below that threshold of being cool. And this song is one off of his upcoming collaboration project and such, man. Like, he's pretty much collaborating with a whole bunch of people and throwing it all together for one project on April the 7th, I believe, is dropping. And I'm all cool with that. Like, I've said this over the years. When I come into your solo project, I don't want to hear a feature on every single song. But yet, if you come out and say from the beginning, this is me, Tech 9 and my friends, and we all collaborating to put this project out, I'm all good with that because you're letting me know from the jump like it's more of a artist showcase man that I can go ahead and peep out all the people that you got and honestly Tech Nine's artist roster that he has under Strange Music Man is one of the better ones out there in the entire industry so this could be a pretty solid project. Now as far as this song is concerned not so much even though they do follow the concept of the song to the T because each individual artist is going about their own separate direction but yet they're all touching on the same thing of putting people on and such where Tech 9 is ultimately taking a lyrical direction of putting on Kansas City like he's being known for that. But my issue with that man is as he tries to go lyrical his punchlines really aren't that strong here. Stevie Stone is more going into how hard he's grinding in order to provide and put his family on where really there's no core lyricism there it's more of him just telling this quick little story. While the singer Dylan Sephiroth is ultimately singing about the benefits that comes with putting things on and such man. But these lyrics are applied to a beat man that you know it's the typical type of beats that you come to expect from Tech 9 add all of these factors together man it's just not that impressive of a song at all but a quick recap here man the positives that I take from this is I'm overall happy that Tech 9 is going out there and trying to showcase new artists with not only this song but the upcoming project but yet the negatives is just isn't that good of a song. But this concludes today's review, man, and now we're gonna jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Chris Lamones before we jump into the news and then jump into an article from downloadpass.com. about to drop another album this Friday and such, which you guys should already know I'm going to be all over that joint, but in the end, I'm kind of questionable about this. See, that self-titled Future Project, man, he did no promotion for it at all, just released it, and I'm sure it did pretty decent, man. I mean, it did become number one album, but he's already cutting that one short to jump into the next one. My thing is, on a business level, that album can still make sales. Like, if you got the new project, man, at least separated by at least one or two months, like, you can still push this joint. You can still drop some singles. But I'm not mad at the work ethic, and I'm definitely going to keep note of this because this is somewhat different than what most people have ever done in this game. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPass.com. And today's article is about accepting losses because this is important for you to progress as an individual in this business because not every time are you going to win? It's just quite obvious, man. Everybody loses at one point in time. And when you lose, you got to learn from your mistakes and push forward. But sadly, that's not what we're seeing in this day and age, man. We're seeing people like Meek Mill, who never wanted to come out and admit that he lost his battle to Drake and all of that, man. Always trying to say that he won. I don't know nothing about no loss. If you do that, you're blinding yourself from the reality of things. Like, he honestly should have took note of that and said, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't go out there and be talking talking trash on all of these people and try to battle rap all of these people. Let me just stay on here, make these quality songs. But instead, due to that lack of reality, he kept committing the same mistakes over and over and over and losing. So overall, you always want to acknowledge your mistakes, understand when you lost and such, man, and try to do better the next time. Always keep those lessons in mind because that's what teaches you how to become great. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there and you can go to downloadpads.com that's down there to read today's article.